Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Let's go ahead and make a poor man's hobo stove out of this green bean can. And we're just gonna use the pocket knife for this. Now, the prudent thing to do would be to wear gloves if you use this technique to make a hobo stove. Now let's go ahead and cut the top out. And here is our elevated floor. lay it out on the bottom first here and here here and here cut a triangle from here down to this ridge let's make the point of the triangle And this one will make bigger. How about that? Now, we'll cut those triangles out and bend them up, which will give a lip in there for the elevated floor to sit on and provide aeration under the elevated floor. I guess we can go ahead and make these. Let's see, how do I want to do these? All right, let's um, make a triangle here. And go about, I don't know, two inches. Put another triangle. And these flaps will bend down, go about two inches. Another triangle and two inches. Triangle and then in the center of those two. Another triangle. And these, these will be bent all the way down.
Oh, it's got these. Oh, it's got these. All right. Let's bend all these tabs down. First, we'll bend these up to support the elevated floor. It's a good, solid, elevated floor. And then we'll bend these down. are ready to see how it burns. Now let's make a hole right in the center of this. Keychain ferro rod, this is a Bayite. And a Stanley 10-049 pocket knife would actually cut out that stove. All right, I'm gonna put you on time lapse. It's gonna take a while to build up some some heat and some coals. All right, and we'll put you back on time lapse. See how this goes. It's gonna have to have some pot support so it can breathe. And I'll keep a good close watch on these, make sure they don't burn up and tip my pan over. Let's see if that's any different. That should make a big difference. And I can stand in the way here to be a windscreen.
Make sure my pot supports aren't burning away too quickly, and they're not, so good. Won't be long now. Her little hobo stove did a good job. I like it. Like I say, I'd go ahead and put a little vent hole in the side so I could turn that off towards the wind or away. Um, come up with some better, you know, pot supports that I can lay on the top so that the frying pan doesn't have to sit right down on top of there and stifle the stove stop the draw of the stove but there's the proof right there that it works just fine do me a favor now before you leave my channel please subscribe hit the notification bell and in that drop down list select all i appreciate you joining me on this one we'll catch you on the next one lord thank you for the snack thank you for a great beautiful day in jesus name i pray amen Oh yeah, that's very good. This grease, I will use to season the green beans. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, I went ahead and cut the side ventilation hole. So now we have these four ventilation holes on the bottom with this flat bent up, which supports the elevated floor. And we have five ventilation holes on top. And let me take that elevated floor out and let you look. We didn't even build up enough heat when we was cooking bacon to burn the paint off underneath that elevated floor. That's good to know because without that elevated floor, when you set this down on a surface, it's gonna scorch the surface. So this is kind of a buffer too. And, and this fits right down in here, like so.